good morning guys it's friday morning we're getting our day started uh we're gonna go ahead and hook up the uh, enclosed trailer we're gonna head down to the uh hardscape show this morning uh we got some cool video to show you guys what we can find down there and then uh we got a couple errands to run we got an appointment to go do uh for a new project we got some cool stuff coming so it's gonna be a cold friday it's not too bad it's like 40 right now so it's it's manageable for sure but uh we're gonna go ahead and get some things hooked up and uh let's get our day started guys we're down here at the Westin in Atlanta 100% um, illegally parked so that should be fun hopefully I still have a truck and trailer when I get back but it's not really anywhere to park because they just have uh, parking garages and I got a trailer hooked on there so uh, that ain't gonna work so we'll see but uh, time to head inside and uh, let's see what they got going on Play. If you go to the website line.org, line.org, it will show you graphic representations of what clay looks like under a microscope, and water gets stuck under the plates. Well, water is a lubricant, and that's why you have that high rate of pliability. Add up on the screen in a little bit as well. Please get some of their literature, read through it, ask them lots of questions of us as well. We use the comp control sensor on the CR6 for our compaction against tight areas like that trench and the BT-1000 from our friends at Martell Global. I find that using smaller jumping jacks that just need utilized more. The bigger ones stay in the trailer, the whole idea of grabbing it by the foot and dragging it back. So we manufacture aluminum privacy screens. Yeah, I mean, we build them all the time, obviously, but then you take out all the separate trades. You know, you take out all the, a lot of it. The pre-staining, right. electrical, the design everything. Work, you know, having to hunt down all I'm mad about some yogurt. All right, guys, we're off. Um, that was pretty cool. We saw some cool products in there. They had a couple different classes where you can sit down, uh, listen to them, kind of explain some of the processes and uh, options, materials to use for the the right, you know, grading, compaction, uh, drainage tips tricks that kind of stuff so um it was interesting you know you can always learn a little something anytime you go to something like that i've said this before and i'll say it again i mean i i really like the teco block product uh, i think they do things very differently than any other paper brand out there i mean it's just the facts so they have stylistic options color options design options that other paver companies do not touch so um and then you put their paver next to other paver companies and their paver makes every other paver look cheap like honestly so uh, that's kind of where i'm at with that but it was a good time uh hopefully we got some cool content and uh we're gonna keep out our day it's uh late morning now my truck did not get towed so that's cool 
I don't think they like towing trucks that have trailers attached to them. So that might have been my saving grace. We're gonna we're gonna go deliver these appliances, I think, first. Get that knocked out. I do need to run by the Ford dealer. The battery still it, it's not working right. It's so frustrating. Um I got the truck back from the paint shop and they killed my battery when they uh, brought it in for the paint work and it still ain't working. And I replaced the battery. I even had Ford replace it themselves and it's just non-stop an issue. Uh, just non-stop issues. So we gotta get that figured out and I'm hoping I can kind of bring it to them and say like, y'all y'all gotta figure this out kind of thing. So we're gonna see how that goes. Normally doesn't go real well, so. But we're going to give it a try. Swing by Ford. Uh, we got to drop off these appliances. We've got to uh, do a meeting around 2 o'clock today. And that's going to be it. Literally right as I say, let's go. we got this to do today. Uh, I get a text that my 2 o'clock meeting has two sick kids at home. And really just can't meet today. And wants to meet next week. So... Uh, sounds like a win for me. We're going to get out of here early today, and I like the sound of that a lot. How old is the free holiday? dealership in Kennesaw and have them take a look at the truck it's probably gonna be a waste of time because pretty much every time you go to the Ford dealer it's a waste of time but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that and go up there and um, see if there's some way they can try and help me out with this so we'll see what happens they they told me they need my truck for a day or two uh, figure out what's wrong with the electrical do you guys have any trucks uh, took my truck to the Ford dealer and they're like yeah uh, your truck's messed up bro sweet so they're like you need to drop it off for at least two days so we can figure out what the problem is and uh, I just walked over to the enterprise rental that's uh, you know connected to the uh, Ford dealer so you got any trucks nope sweet so they don't have any trucks or SUVs, nothing to rent. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. I've got a trailer on the truck right now, so it just makes everything more inconvenient. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do and um, try and go from there. Some sort of electrical issue since they replaced the battery at this Ford dealer that they replaced the battery and they don't know what to tell me. So they're like, you just got to drop it off for two days. But it sounds terrible when the truck starts. It's like it's hesitating. It's the remote starts not working. Uh, the rear lights in the back of the truck will just like stay on randomly. Um, the dinging, the check engine, I'm just so over it. I got to figure out how to get this fixed.
$1,000 off, headed to the rental car place. Run the truck over to Ford and then just get an Uber back to the rental car place real quick. Um, so hopefully this will only take about an hour to get this done. I know some people are going to be like, oh, what's, you know, stupid Ford, like, what's wrong with your truck? Like, you know, there's literally been nothing wrong with my truck. And then I screw up the tailgate and the dominoes begin just falling you know the tailgate was the problem then the tailgate you know now the the bed's a little bit off and then they uh, you know they ran the battery dead replaced the battery the battery ain't working I, like oh my god i'm just done i'm done with this so i'm hoping um i'm hoping we're gonna get this resolved and we can get back to uh using our truck as we as we do normally so Do you have more than seven? Oh. Okay, so you prefer the Yeah. Do you have a restaurant here? No. The Goodwill or the Mexican restaurant? You have the Goodwill. No, I appreciate you always taking good care of me, Jackie. I, you make me want to come in here and spend money on rental cars. That's a problem. It's fun though. It's a lot cheaper than going to buy a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead and confirm the authorization that you pick up. So I'll go back in there and fix it. Back okay. to the 620. Sorry, he's trying to charge you 736, but I got that. I'll cover it all. Okay. All right, we got a car picked up. I went to my boy Jackie. Shout out Jackie. He owns the Avis rental car place here in Woodstock. I swear this guy takes such good care of me every time I come here and uh, I'm loyal. I just gotta say, I, I just hopped in uh, one of these uh, Ford Expeditions. It's a nice car. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of these. I'm a big fan until you put it in reverse. Look at this camera. Like, don't put such a big screen if you can't get the right quality camera. I don't know. That, that is so hideous. I mean, and again, you may not be able to really see this when it comes out on the video. But if you're sitting in here, you get in here and it's like, damn, what a you know, nice car, leather, and all these nice finishes and stuff. And then you pop that reverse camera on, you're like, ew. So, I don't know. It literally looks like they have like three pieces of tape over the camera. It's so freaking blurry. That's about all we got going on today. We're gonna spend maybe an hour or so on the computer, uh, getting some estimates, getting some uh, quotes put out. Next week, we've got a lot of work going on. Um, we've got a large project to install footings, um, the foundations for all the uh, couple different outdoor kitchens, fireplaces, uh, curbs, um, deck stair footings, all different kinds of stuff that we're working on next week. So. Um, we're definitely going to have a lot of content next week. I'm going to try and film for at least a few days and put out a couple more episodes for you guys. And two episodes out a week is kind of my goal right now, um, just to build some consistency. Uh, we still have a lot of different tools and gadgets and softwares and different things that we want to invest in to, to keep growing this and uh, take it to the next level. So really appreciate all the support. Appreciate everybody watching. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to have a fun week next week. So y'all have a great weekend and stay safe.